Emma, komm. The Chris Vector is a one of the best guns in Escape from Tarkov, which came with patch 12.9, and I will show you why the Chris Vector in Escape from Tarkov is so powerful. Dear comrades, I went to German respect for you guys and today I will show you my Chris Vector builds. We will take a close look about the Chris Vector in Escape from Tarkov. In my opinion, it's right now the best weapon in the game for several reasons. And I guess you made a lot of experience with it. Either your enemy had one or you always, or for yourself, you tried it. So let's take a closer look about the Chris Vector. You have two versions in the game. The first version, which you get quite early on, I guess with skill level two, is the Chris Vector in 9mm. So, and this one is a beast because it's quite cheap for 50k. You can get one of these and you can see the base stats of the weapon. And you have a stock vertical recoil from 32. Of course it makes sense because the Vector has a very interesting recoil system. I will show you animation about it. And this recoil system is Impressive, I like the technique about it, but in Escape from Tarkov, and I like that one, it's a very accurate game in terms of gun handling in most of the cases. So that's why the Chris Vector is right now very, very strong. You can get a recoil and I will show you the top build. I know the stock, the PRS stock is very ugly on the Chris Vector, but it is right now the best in slot. Um, you, you can argue, and I made it on the Chris Vector 45 caliber, um, with the forest stock you have one more vertical recoil but a little bit more ergonomics with the shift grip compared to the Zenit RK1 grip. But I made a lot of debuffs in Escape from Tarkov in terms of ergonomics, that's why I want to show you those different versions. So you can put the RK1 away, you have 20 vertical recoil and much more ergonomics. But as you can see with the best in slot build you have a vertical recoil of 19 and that's crazy. I will show you that on the shooting range. So let's continue with the Vector 45. The Vector 45 it's a little bit more expensive, not that much, around 60k. And you can put one suppressor on, on the Vector 9mm. You have several options, but it's also crazy that the silencer co is quite cheap. Right now you can get it for let me check, 30k and that's nothing. This suppressor is crazy good and I don't know why this suppressor why this suppressor is so cheap. And one big, big advantage are the 50 round magazines because they will also reduce the recoil by 3%. With the Vector 45 you have some issues during the wipe because you will get this gun very late and the magazines are quite expensive. You can only buy three of them. Right now they are completely out of stock, even if you want to buy them from a vendor. And if you want to buy them on the flea market, as you can see, they are, they are so expensive. I wouldn't recommend buying that gun from the flea. So if you can afford it, buy from a trader. And in my opinion, and that's also a big difference. Yes, you have a little bit more fire rate from 1100 RPM compared to 950 RPM, but the 50 round magazine makes a difference. It's a huge difference, believe me. I played a lot of Vector, I made a lot of clips, and in my opinion, I like the 9mm Vector a little bit more, because the 50 round magazine is crazy, it's very impressive. And it's cheap, it's quite cheap. If you compare the Chris Vector with other SMGs in the game, like the VSS, MP5 or whatever, it's cheap. The ammunition is cheap. You don't have to modify the vector a lot. Most of the times I played it like it's the basic vector with the six inch barrel, uh, basic grip and a side on it, let's go. And you are good to go. Most of the clips are made with this version. But in this video, I want to show you the top notch, what you can do. Let's talk a little bit about the ammunition for the 9mm vector, which is also a big benefit. The basic ammo is quite cheap, the PST and the GT. The GT is the green tracer. I don't understand why the majority of the players are not playing with the green tracer. You have a little bit more penetration, penetration with the PST, but you have more flash damage with the green tracer and a good penetration. And I like the green tracer. You can make some very accurate shots because you can see where your vector is firing. And with the PST, of course, you have a little bit more penetration, but both rounds are quite cheap. Furthermore, you have the Quake Maker. You do a lot, a lot of flash damage, and you can combine that with the 50 round magazine. It's crazy good ammunition. I'm not a big fan of the leg meta. For me, it's a little bit awkward to shoot in the legs of an enemy. I like to shoot in the head or shoot on some weak spots. 
So I'm a big fan of the AP63. It's quite cheap if you want to buy it. You can craft it. And furthermore, you have the 7N31. It's a very impressive bullet. You have so much penetration. This bullet is crazy, but it's also crazy expensive. For the vendor price is quite okay, I would say, but it's always out of stock. If you, it's crazy how fast these bullets are out of stock. A 50 round mag is nothing with the vector. What you can do, and I would recommend that, is that you use your hideout. You can craft some ammunition, and I would, as I said, recommend doing that. You can go and craft the 7 and 39. You need some stuff for that. But you can also craft the AP63, which is quite okay. And you can also craft the red gunpowder. So you should do that. Let's check the 45 ACP. During the early wipe, I used the 45 ACP FMJ. It's cheap, it's okay. But as soon as you can get, use the ACP AP rounds. Those babies are crazy good. The stats for the ACP AP rounds are very nice. They are most of the times out of stock, but you can get them quite easier compared to the 7 and 31 and they are not that expensive for three bucks it's okay but the flea market prices are incredibly high because you can't craft them so let's jump to the shooting range and i will show you both versions so this is the first target with the 9 mil vector 50 round magazine no recoil control And look at that guys, it's just a circle and you have to you don't have to do So look at that guys, that's crazy man. And another one, no recoil control. Look at that guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is completely crazy. So let's check the 45 ACP, no recoil control. Oh yeah, you can see we have a lot more recoil compared to the 9mm, but it's also nothing, especially if we don't use our recoil control abilities. I would say most of the recoil, which you can see, is just a visual recoil. The gun is shaking a lot, but it's also very, very nice, but you can feel it, it's a little bit more. So let's jump to the next target. So this is also no recoil control, let's compare it with the 45 ACP. Yeah, you can see the difference over here, the 45 ACP is like, okay, it kicks top right, but all, you can also see the difference between two magazines. Let's give another one, with a little bit more recoil control, so 50 round magazine, it's nothing, it's smooth. Yeah, look at that. Also, the 45 vector. It's crazy how good it is. Man, that's impressive. So, we saw both guns on range, and in my opinion, because of the firepower with the 50 round mag, I would say the 50 round mag 9mm vector is the better version. But it's also a personal preference. You also have to understand that the 45 ACP is very slow in terms of muzzle velocity, which can be a little bit difficult on some greater ranges. With the 9mm vector, it's a little bit better. As I said, I like the 9mm vector because of the low recoil. You have very, very high firepower and it's a crazy, crazy good gun. That's why I'm going to use this one for the live rate. But don't worry guys, we made a lot of clips with the 45 vector also, which we are going to show you during this video all the time. So let's jump into a live rate and we are going on customs to make some big, big, quick action. So, let's go boys. First of all, check your max as always. We have full max. Interesting spawn. And today is a very good day to start a life raid. I died all the time, I guess. I played with some teammates. Today is a very crazy day. I don't know what's going on. So maybe look at look at this. Oh, he's still alive. Holy Jesus. But that's what I mean. That's the vector. The people can't handle this 50 round rain, no recoil, nothing, poor guy man, nice 300 blackout, very interesting, not suppressed, but that's it guys, that's it, you saw it in the first couple of secs of this first raid with the vector, it's crazy, and that's the whole, you shouldn't have to nerf it, oh, it's a 338, right? 
Oh, I saw him. Oh. We wanna hunt the free free eight guys. Let's go. Perfect. But that's it. If you would nerf the vector, it wouldn't be realistic because the low recoil is caused due to the system, to the to the mechanics of the vector. So it's I would say it's okay. But you can get the vector from level two skier, guys. And that's the point, man. Even with the 30 round max, this vector is crazy. And that's what I think they should work on it, that you can get it that early, <clears throat> because that's crazy. Uh, you saw what you can do with almost every opponent, because they can't handle this 50 rounds of this gun. Let's face this 338, I'm quite sure, because the 338 is very, very significant. The fire rate, the, the noise, I would say, was a 338. And of course we want to we want hunt him down. Ah, uh, here's shitty shitty rounds. Also, the free on a blackout is also a topic for another video, I would say. And if you're interested in more of those life rate and weapon builds, let me know. I didn't pre-med. Man, during my beginnings in Tarkov, I had so much issues with this jump, you can't imagine, man. I'm telling you, that was crazy hard for me to do this. I don't know why. Because I don't have a good movement. So we have some silent shot and storms. He moved quite fast. Maybe he has a secondary weapon and maybe he's still at dorms. So guys, I'm also not a big fan of sprinting all the time. Because if you sprint, you are quite loud. I would say you should skip some open areas. But if you're not sprinting all the time, it's like you have a little better approach and a little better attention. You can ch check your surroundings a little bit. But of course there's no way to play Tarkov, right? Because Tarkov is so special. You have to... I would say you have to find your own playstyle. But if you sprint all the time, it's, it's hard in my opinion. Like here, this is an open area, I want to skip it. I'm sprinting a little bit mm, to get a little bit more realistic, I would say. But Tarkov isn't a realistic game, but that's also a topic for another video. Of course it's intense and all that stuff. But it's not realistic. We have stims to use, we have health points. Ah, look at that, no chance. That's a vector, guys. That's a vector, it's crazy. Poor dude, man. Give me that gunpowder. Back battery, it's good trade. I guess you can imagine how, how strong the vector is. And maybe you think, oh, it's because you use the best in slot stuff. No. It's, it's not, because most of the clips are with my normal vector stock, some, I don't know, Magpul grip, and that's it, and let's go, and the vector is crazy. But of course, in this, this life rate, I will show you, oh, I want to show you the best, what you can get with the vector, and I don't want to, to make it worse than it is, because there's no reason for it. But this vector is crazy. And you can see how fast you can shoot, and how quick you are empty with your bullets. So we had some shots in dorms, and I'm not a big fan to... Oh, let's go, we have some... Maybe some new enemies. I want to hurry a little bit, because I want to show you the power of the vector. I'm not a big fan if we have a bats or late spawn for dorms to push into dorms, because... In my opinion, if you have a certain good position, it's hard to lose it. So what that means, if someone is in dorms and you're an attacker, I want to push into dorms, it's hard for you if the player knows what they are doing to get this position. Okay, that's interesting. It's very interesting sometimes with the scaffs. But they are not dying. Thank you. So maybe the 338 guy died. I hope not. Of course, I hope not, because I want to fight him. Look at that, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, Skeff boss. Woo. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That was interesting. But that's the vector, guys. Oh, man. 
Victor is so crazy, I love this gun. I love it in real life, I love it as an airsoft, and I love it in Tarkov. This thing is crazy. This boy was thick, man. Oh, we have to hurry up. Oh, no, 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 no. No worries, man. What's wrong with those guys right now? Pushing like crazy, man. What's wrong with those guys? Oh, what's... What's wrong with this boy, man? What's wrong with this boy? Holy cow. But that's why you need a proper preparation. And proper tool. Perfect. Oh. And the vector saved my life. 50 rounds, guys. That was close. That was way, way, way too close. But the last scaf guard. The last scaf boss guard, man. He was hungry. Holy shit. You want to taste some proper German food, man? Some bratwurst and sauerkraut. Jesus. Okay, nearly full. One round for Ashala. Let's go. I would say I will grab a proper gun. I will grab a proper gun. We'll save the free and blackout because I like it basically. Move that away. Here. Oh, we can fold it, right? No, we can't. No mistake. We have to hurry up a little bit. Can't get it. I will do that later on. But I wanna grab a secondary real quick. Oh no, wait. Zero to armor. Unlucky over here. Maybe we can check our thick boy. Ooh, hello over here. My friend, do you have something for me? No. That's unfortunate. I can hear him close. Very close. You killed something, right? Just look for some armor, but you also have nothing. So I guess it's one one guard and Rashala, right? One guard and Rashala. They are right here. I want to do it quite silent. Okay. Perfect. 50 round max, guys. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But right now we have some issues. No need to worry. No need to worry, guys. We are fine. And I can drop my vector. Because it's almost completely empty. Drop it right here. Thanks, man. Thank you for service. We have to be quick now. Right now we have to be quick. Let's store that. We can fold it. Check that. That card. Storage that. It's okay. Oh, shitty ammo, man. Shitty ammo. Man, I don't have body armor. That's shit, guys. That's quite shit. But I still don't have body armor. Which is shit. Which is shit, guys. Which is shit. We don't have to be... We shouldn't become that greedy. I want to grab the body armor, which is outside. I know it's low, but it's better than nothing. See you real quick. Imagine the 3 3 guys coming right now. Just need some armor, man. Give me your armor. Okay, thank you. With this guy, nothing. Fine. Can I get the halt ultim with me? <clears throat> this 100k. Where's this guy coming from? Oh, 
I knew I heard something. I knew I heard something. Let's get out of here, man. I knew I heard something. Let's get out of here, boys. I don't have the body armor to fight this. Don't have the armor to fight this, man. I heard him. I was so sure I heard him. Ooh, it's crazy. Thank God I looted the reed at armor. And let's get out of here. Oh, wait, like crazy. No, come on. Scaff, I guess. Jesus Christ. I can't jump, man. <sighs> Way too close. Way too close, man. Changing the side, I don't like that. Give me the, give me the experience. Okay. Oh, I'm lucky, guys. I'm lucky. Holy jeez. Oh, no, 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 I'm not lucky. <laughs> Holy shit. Always check your mech, guys. Always check your mechs. Oh, the what on what on oh. Oh, holy I'm a little bit lost I'm lost I'm lost I'm lost I'm lost I'm lost thank you oh man oh man oh man oh man let's get out of here let's get out of here boys yep for the first raid I survived it was okay I guess and it was a life raid that makes it a little bit better guys look at that that was crazy raid that was crazy. Look at that damage, boys. That was nice, man. Can we manage that? Oh, nope. Close, 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 close. So, I would say that's the best solution for a first life raid, in my opinion. Everything went perfectly fine. And this day, this Sunday, went so horrible for Escape for Taco for me today. But I'm a little bit happy that the first life raid for a weapon or for weapon guy went so well and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because this was crazy and that's why I love Escape from Tarkov.